Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 3rd of 2019, well, it is titled M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the objects from Charles Messier's catalogs of objects that looked like comets but were actually not comets as seen through small telescopes. So comet hunting was something very big back in the 1700s and objects that looked a little fuzzy would then be observed to see if they were comets, if they were actually objects moving through our solar system. And Charles Messier cataloged a list of a little over a hundred of these objects that were not uh, that were not comets so that he would know which ones they did not have to watch continually. And it includes lots of common objects such as the Andromeda Galaxy and the Orion Nebula as well as many other uh, star clusters, nebulae, and even, I say, a, a galaxy there. So what this one is, M27, is actually a planetary nebula. And this is what happens at the end of the life of a star, much like our own sun. So this is what our sun could look like in five or six billion years. And what happens when a star reaches the end of its life, it exhausts its fuel. And when it does that, gravity begins to win the battle, and gravity starts to pull the star down. Now, what ha as that does, it heats up, and the central portion will become very hot. As that does, it creates new energy sources, which cause the outer layers to expand out into space. So while the core is collapsing down to a very dense object, here at the center, a white dwarf star, the outer layers are being expelled out into space. So first the star will become very large, a giant, and then a supergiant, and even a hypergiant star. And eventually those outer layers can become unstable and can be pushed out into space. So that's what we're seeing here is where those outer layers of the star have been expelled out into space. And then at the very center, there is a white dwarf star, which is the compact core of a star, condensed down to about the size of the Earth. So that's still most of the, a lot of the mass of the star, uh, but a lot of the material is now out it, uh, stretched out around the star, and we can see from this it looks like it may be pushed off in various waves, that it's not just one big uh, region that is expelled, but it does it at various times, as you can see, various different arcs and uh, throughout the image. Now exactly how these things are expelled out is not something we completely understand. Obviously it can happen because we see it occurring, but the physical mechanism, what's actually going on there, is something that is not completely understood yet. And there are various different shapes of planetary nebulae. So depending on the exact conditions, we can get variations. They don't all look exactly the same but there is a wide variation in the structures of the planetary nebulae that we see out in space. So that was our picture of the day for December the 3rd of 2019. It was titled M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Electric Night. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.